Chris, many congratulations on winning the league. Uh, a bit of an anti-climax this afternoon. Well, yeah, I mean, playing against a good side, uh, players trying to get in a, a Premiership team, so good standard. We we knew before the game, but we uh, chose not to tell the lads. Maybe it would have relaxed them. Uh, but we want to put them under pressure constantly to try and get the best out of them and to test them. So bittersweet. Absolutely delighted we've won the league, but um, we want to win games as well. Every game. Yeah, of course you do. But uh, mm. it's quite an achievement, really. This side squad was only put together last summer. I know. Yeah. It's, a lot of thanks to, to the club for setting it up, to, to, to Steve Hamer and Steve Butfield for helping and Wild for setting it up and obviously Daryl. Lots of people in the background, the supporters club, um, with Ken and Jim, so it's not just a small group, it's a big group of people trying to put this together, so really thankful of that. But in the first year to have had seven debuts and win the league it's not not too bad that's right i mean your your aim is to develop players for the first team isn't it and you, yeah. you've seen those that pathway open up to, for them definitely that there is that vision that the players can see that um the manager trusts them to play them if they're good enough and that they're regularly joining in first team training so i'm really happy it's been a pleasure to take them actually and they're all fighting they're they're not on a lot of money but they're fighting to be pros and that they're, they're, they're successful. So it's it's been a great first season. We just want to get better. We're so greedy, aren't we, as coaches? <laughs> we just want to get better, though. What, what's been the highlight for you during the course of the season? Well, seeing the, 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 the and get the point that m might have won this league ultimately, where they had 10 men and, and um, you managed to, to, to get a draw out of the game. And But seeing them play against eight and nine first team lads in, in, in some instances in, in, in uh, games where they've had to stand up and be counted and become men really quickly. It's just a, a really heartfelt thanks to me, to the players, because some aren't staying, which is hard to tell them. And, uh, you know, I've spoken to those lads already and it's, they're, they're fighting for their careers and for, for uh, their livelihoods, but they've given it absolutely everything. So those that have stayed, I'm delighted for, and those that um, are leaving the programme, obviously just wanted to say thank you very much for your efforts. And I, I've said to them, hopefully you do well in your careers, and this will have helped you. You've had quite a turnover of players, haven't you? When you, when you look back and think of different nationalities. Yeah, different, I know, it, it's been I know. Yeah, loads of different cultures learning about the, the way that we play and those sort of, those sort of football phrases and sayings that we, we take for granted. <laughs> You're saying it to Mo Baghdadi in the middle of a game and he's saying, sorry, what's that? <laughs> but that, that's the difficulty for us. But fair play to them because they, they've come to a different country. They're learning the culture, the language, different style of football, and they've been absolutely brilliant. So they were a bit subdued after the game, weren't they? Where we knew already and they didn't. I think they thought we were joking. But. Well, I think that several of us noticed, commented on, and you have as well. You, you played on grass today. Yeah. You played an awful lot of games and trained on a, a 3G pitch. I know. Pitch. Didn't uh, suit us today. No. Didn't suit us today. It's a bobbly grass as well. We we just struggled with it. We struggled to get that passing game going. As you say, we train on GFA every day, so playing on there makes it perfect for us. We all make excuses, don't we? <laughs> today we weren't good enough today, but we've been good enough over the duration of the games to get enough points to, to win it. And as I say, in the first year of the, this group being set up to, to have seven debuts and win the league, I think I'll allow myself um, half a lager tonight <laughs> with Mrs H. Well done, congratulations Thanks a lot. again. All right? Cheers. Well